What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to episode eight of the Iron Man Progress series. I'm Kay Wiley, and we're still smithing up some darts here, and I got a plan for this episode. Before we get into any of that, it's time for a level montage. Nice, 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 nice. This level montage has been proudly sponsored by Carpal Tunnel and 55 Fletching to make maple longbows. And now we have 24,000 iron darts. They won't know what hit them. Hey, there's 60 fletching. So I'm gonna cool it there now for the fletching. I just wanted to use up some of what I got from the kingdom. Another big level coming in, 60 farming. We can now grow yew trees if we had yew seeds, but we'll get some eventually. Hey, there's a mudskipper hat. Um, I'm killing these mogers for the flippers, but we'll take the hat. So I just got 55 hit points and that brings me to 70 combat. So now when we go back to Slayer, we can use the Fairy Slayer Master. Not bad. Oh my God, finally, there they are. Only took 125 kills. Oh my God, how good do those look? So I got these for when I do my seaweed farming. This allows you to quote unquote run while you're underwater. But yeah, RNG is a wonderful thing. Got quite a few notable rare drops before getting the flippers, including seaweed, two stabs of water, a fish bowl, a long bone, and a beautiful snapdragon seed. Hey, hey, there is 61 farming, which is a big level because we can now grow snape grass. Perfect for those prayer potions. Just finished up mining some more volcanic ash. Uh, farming goes through ultra compost really fast. And yeah, we got a hard clue. Let's see if it's some content we can complete. Oh my God. I'm so far getting spoon fed this hard clue. Two tree gnome village steps in a row. Oh, we actually got the casket. Wow. I was spoon fed that hard clue. That's awesome. We already uh, had a beginner in the bank from wood cutting, I believe. So we're just going to pop them both open now. And that's not good. Here is our third hard casket, I believe. Oh, first blessing. Not bad. Some alcables. I guess the room plate body is an upgrade. And a guthics page, which is unique. So. And that's going to be really useful for God Wars in the future, so really happy about that. Coming back to Slayer for a bit with my new upgrades and just completed our 30th task. And here's an easy casket in these crates. All right, Rune Chain Body, what's in here? Oh, nice. Nice, the blue skirt G. That's a sweet drop to get. How do you like me now? And there is the Rag and Bone Man quest complete. One quest point, 500 cooking and prayer experience. 160 quest points, only 15 off from recipe for disaster completion. Yo, so we just got 47 range and we got a rune med drop last kill. So that's a straight upgrade from my Addy full helm. All right, we just completed our 39th Slayer task, so we're gonna get our 40th task, and this is our first Shaldar task. On the account, what do we get? Uh, cave Slimes. There's our 40th task complete, which gives us 50 points. Not bad. Oh my God, dude, stop, stop hitting me. What are you, what are you, why are you clawing my face? Why are you doing this to me? All right, brother Omad. Give me what I'm looking for. There it is. There's our fourth hard casket. Another pretty easy one. Got this from a bird's nest doing my last birdhouse run. Without further ado. Oh my god. Back to back war blessing. And then we got a Guthix plate skirt, which is cool. 
27 sharks is not bad too. There's my first uh, unique piece of god rune, but this is actually my best in slot right now because I was using Addy plate legs. So my lady's classed up with two skirts this episode. Nice. Hey Murph. Cool, so Murphy just made me a fishbowl helmet and a diving apparatus, so this will now allow me to breathe underwater, which is going to be perfect for my seaweed farming on Fossil Island. Murphy, do I look like I'm ready to swim? What do these flippers tell you? Hey ya! Ya! And there is Pirate Pete Freed for one quest point, a thousand cooking, fishing, smithing, and crafting experience. And now we're a scuba machine. Hey, there's 42 herb lore coming in using the rest of our Harlanders. I'm currently going for 45 for the Legends quest. I believe I have 48 banked, so should get that pretty soon here. Oh my god, they are so beautiful, I could cry. Upgrade, yeah, runefall home drop. Came here to get 50 range so we could get a new backpack. Oh, it treated to another runefall home right before we get 50 range. And there we have it, 50 range. We can now use the magic short bow. I'm a speck on him. Pew, oh, pew. So now we come over to Ava, the Ava's Accumulator. Big upgrade and range bonus. 81 Thieving coming in. So we now have access to the second highest room in Pyramid Plunder. And there is 45 Herblore achieved. We can now make super attack potions. Take that, buddy. There is the Family Crest quest completed. One quest point, the Steel Gauntlets, and then a skill imbue for the Steel Gauntlets. And then we'll come to Avon over here in the Alcarid mine, and we will get the Goldsmithing Gauntlets from him. So now we'll get double XP when smelting gold bars, which is great, because I think that's what I'm gonna do to get up to 60 smithing. All right, I think the kingdom's about to go below 750k. Ooh, not bad. Not bad resources. Yep, we're at 775. We'll keep it at 900k, and I'll come back in a couple days. All right, it's been a week since we've done Tears of Guthics, so here's our first one back. 28 rune crafting. Not bad. There is 60 mining coming in here at the sandstone quarry, and that is my second to last requirement for Lunar Diplomacy. And since we mine sandstone and we have all this sand, we'll easily get 61 crafting. There is 65 farming coming in, so we actually now have access to the mid-tier of the farming guild as well as Growing Hispori, the uh, farming demi-boss. And we also have access to medium contracts, which I will go grab in a second. All right, what is our first medium contract gonna be? Ah, oh, snake grass, perfect. I just planted some. And I'm gonna pay for it as well. So we're starting off our Hispori grind with 17 available seeds. Let's go plant the first one. Not entirely sure how hard this will be with my low stats, but eh. There's 61 crafting coming in, so we now have all of the requirements for the Lunar Diplomacy quest, and getting 60 allowed me to craft you birdhouses as well. Oh, 68 magic. Most of that level was charging a ton of orbs, and we're finally getting around to making battle stabs for some GP. Yeah, I got like 450 to go. Money. Before we do the Lunar Diplomacy, I rushed the requirements for this quest to do this elite clue, so let's go get this taken care of first, quick. Alright, which one are we gonna get? The 
ranged one. All right, slowly but surely we took him down. And I'll take those nature runes. Ooh, rip. The next one needs dragon boots, which I can't get until 83 Slayer or like 78 if I boost. So that's, that's quite a ways away. Um, probably drop it. Oh yeah. We're going rogue. There is the Lunar Diplomacy quest complete. Two quest points, 5k magic and rune crafting experience, and then big unlock. Access to the Lunar Spell Book. And that's gonna give us 32 rune crafting. So yeah, we can come pray here. Get some different spells. So I'm in front of this cave looking like an absolute unit because we are gonna try and kill his spory for the first time. My first plant grew. We are only 70 combat. And the giant plant goes down. Good to get a success on my first one. Do we get lucky right away? Well, we get 66 farming and a chrono seed and some quorums. Not bad. We are back at the Keldegrim Dwarves and we just blew through like 600k to get almost 2.2k gold ore, which I'm going to turn into gold bracelets to Alk for more money. In our oddest outfit, there is 60 smithing coming in so we can now make mithril battle axes and the dragon square shield. Another 60 skill knocked out and 59 smithing was actually mithril grapple. So we can now make a mithril grapple for those achievement diaries that require one. So now we make a ton of bracelets, like 2000 of them. A 62 crafting on the first batch. So we can now make fire battle stabs and green dehyde shields. Here we go, we are gonna make the mithril grapple. So we need a grapple tip. Nope, don't make two. Now we need some bolts. Finish the bolts. Put the bolts on to make the grapple and then use the grapple with the rope. There we go, myth grapple. And there is the last task for the easy lumberage and drainer diaries. And there we go, that is the final medium task in the Lumbridge area as well. So we'll come over to Hattius, the classiest man in old school. Look at that cane, that top hat, and those rangers. Yeah, we'll talk to him about the diaries, and then we'll get the Explorer's Ring 1 and 2. So of course we get the antique lamps, and the Explorer's Ring 2 has 50% run energy, replenished three times a day. And we can now teleport to the Falador farm. So the Falador patch for farm runs just got way easier. And it gives a plus one prayer bonus, which is nice. And we're gonna go ahead and put these into herb lore. That'll get us 47. Well, back at Piro Piro, and we got the correct implings to get the magic butterfly net. Oh yeah, just look at that. Look at that confidence difference. The stance says it all. So I just got a medium emote clue that requires an Addy Warhammer 
the Ring of Life and Mithril Boots. We already have the Ring of Life from the Lost Tribe quest, so that's not a problem. But the Addy Warhammer is pretty hard to get, and the Mithril Boots are pretty hard to get. The Mithril Boots are a drop from Jellies, which you need 52 Slayer to kill. And I think the easiest way for me to get an Addy Warhammer is to kill Mountain Trolls. But yeah, we're gonna need those things eventually, so we're gonna we're gonna full send it. We're gonna go on a Slayer grind here. 52 Slayer. Hey, there's task 49 complete. Let's go get 50. What do we got? Task 50 is wall beasts. Okay. All right, this is beginner casket number 50. Give it to me. Nope. There is 50 tasks complete. 150 points, so we're almost at 300 points already. Um, I think I'm gonna start doing uh, all Sheldar tasks from now on. 55 range coming in so we can now use red and champas and there is the death plateau quest completed another quest point 3k attack experience steel claws and the ability to make claws i guess figured if i'm going to start getting into more slayer i might as well upgrade my boots a little bit and get some climbing boots climbing boots means i'm ready to fight i guess While I'm here, you know, talking to my buddy Dunstan, I couldn't let his son remain a prisoner of the trolls, so I had to save him. There's the troll stronghold quest complete. One quest point, a law talisman, and we can we can make law runes if we want. Actually, I don't think we have the high enough room crafting. At 54, we can make law runes. Whatever. So I've been alking my gold bracelets while I've been doing Slayer, and I was about to record 70 magic, but I ran out of fire runes. <laughs> yes, this is what I was hoping for. We got a troll task, 123. Really hoping to get the Addy Warhammer on task. Big moves out here. We got 70 magic on deck. There it is. Second is Spory, what do we get? Mm, not the bucket. There's 65 strength coming in. Really nice, so now we're gonna switch back to attack. And once I get 65 attack, we head to the Warrior's Guild to get our Dragon Defender. Also, these Pyrophines drop death runes and they're worth 666. Yeah, I'm not taking that. There is 50 Slayer coming in. Only a couple levels away. There is 60 of the healthiest points. Sheldar, thank you. That is a super good task to get. You gotta love the bonus prayer experience. Hey, and there's my first wilderness hard clue step. There's hard casket number five on the account. Here we go. The only good thing about that is that the magic longbow is needed for an emote clue. Otherwise, that was not worth my time. Another day, another look at the kingdom. Cha-ching. And that's going to be 52 Slayer, so we can now go jelly hunting. Oh, our clue right before we get 64 attack. One more level before we can get the Dragon Defender. I'm so excited. But yeah, no Myth Boots yet. Unless... Nope. So let's see if we can do this hard clue. Sure can. A sixth hard casket coming in. Penguins, give me luck. Oh, okay, okay, that's my first dehyde drop and then some alcables. Here we go, there is our third Hispori KC. Will we get the bucket? Nope, but we do get 67 farming, which is Cadentines. 
well, I found a nice little quaint place to camp here, so we're gonna leave the medium clue off on a cliffhanger. Da, da, da. Will I get something good? Who knows? But definitely be sure to tune in next time. I have a couple big, big upgrades planned. Can't wait to get into those. But thank you for watching this episode. We made a lot of good gains. And we faced a few challenges, but we are conquering them one at a time alone. And I cannot wait to continue this journey with you. Thanks again for tuning into this episode. Really good to have you here. I'm Kay Wiley, and I will see you next time.